and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the free agency promo part two preview, which we all thought was coming out Wednesday, but it's coming out today. Well, you know, it is coming out Wednesday, but the previews today, I should say. We had a feeling that it would be being previewed today, so I'm really excited to do this because that gives me a video to do. Wasn't quite sure what I was doing today, so that really does help. Now, guys, this probably will introduce Tom Brady. Now, will we get him as an LTD? Will we get him as a regular MasterCard? It really just depends. We're not quite sure yet on how they're going to end up doing this, but the preview's about to start. we got to check all this out. I'm super excited for this because it gives us some content. Hopefully, there's some banger players. I don't know if they're going to include some of the traded guys as free agency promo, or are they going to make a movers thing for them? Maybe they should make LTD movers. That'd be pretty cool, but really depends how they're going to end up doing this. Really got to just wait and see because they could do it in a few ways. Now, guys, I'm super excited for this. Hopefully, 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 we get some pretty fire master. We get some pretty good decent set pieces, and hopefully it crashes the market a little bit. I always love some good market crash right in time. Well, and I have some coins. It'd be kind of perfect at this point. Now, guys, I got to go check out the stream and everything. It will be dropping tomorrow, Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, so you guys already know the, the routine with that. You guys already know the deal. Hopefully, like I said, guys, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm thinking Tom Brady's going to be the master. We really got to go check it out, though, and see what ends up happening with him. But if Tom Brady is the master, I don't know if I'll end up actually using him. But it's definitely still a fun choice of card, for the most part, in my opinion. For people who are Patriots fans, and just to see Tom Brady in a Buccaneers jersey, it's going to look pretty weird. But, guys, before we get into the video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the Naughty Bell Boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. Make sure to comment down below if you have any other questions regarding the free agency promo. And yeah, make sure to check out the other vids for today, and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's go check out all this free agency stuff and see what's going on. Okay, guys, so starting for the preview, we got the Madden Mutt Rewards, which is pretty cool, actually. So even if you're a rookie, which is literally the lowest tier you could be, it's an 87-plus for agency fantasy pack, which is super... I mean, not free agency fantasy pack. Free agency player pack, which could be a full, could be a decent player, but 87-plus is still pretty decent. If you're a pro, you're one free agency pack, which is still solid. If you're all pro, you get two free agency pack, and if you're legendary, you get three free agency packs, guys. I think I'm legendary, so I get three for agency packs. You know, I always love these because I don't open packs very often. I don't really buy packs, so when I get free packs, I can't really complain. Usually super excited about that kind of stuff. Now, let's move on to the first player, Vic Beasley Jr., free agent. Uh, let's see, did he go anywhere yet? I believe I saw him go somewhere, and I'm, it's not going to say it in the card, so excuse me for not knowing my football knowledge at this exact moment. 89 speed, 91 excel, 86 strength, 86 tackle, 88 play rack, 81 block shed, 79 power movement, 90 finesse movement. Now, remember, guys... Free agency cards, I believe, can be put on any team cam as long as they're powered up. Now, Vic Beasley does not apply because he cannot be powered up. But that is the beauty of free agency cards. If you pick up any of the Masters, you can pretty much toss them on most teams. I believe that's how it usually works. Moving on to the next one, we got Graham Glasgow. Six foot six, right guard. For He was on the Detroit Lions. Not sure where he ended up going. I forgot where it was. Six foot six, 91 strength, 92 awareness, 90 pass block, 92 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 90 run block, 95 run block power, and 92 run block finesse. Decent overall. Probably going to be a pretty decent budget right guard, uh, right guard kind of style. But as a starter on most God squads, probably not going to make the cut. Next one, 96, Joe Schobert. Uh, he's got 87 speed, 91 excel, 80 strength, 91 tackle, 99 play rec, 88 block shit, 90 hit power, 85 zone. Decent, decent user type card. A little bit slower, but if you're on like a budget team and he's pretty cheap, could be pretty decent, especially if you end up getting him nat or something. But other than that, not looking too great if you're planning to start on one of your, like, you know, your God squad again. Way too slow for that. Next, we got Von Bell, strong safety, 92 speed, 94 excel, 88 tackle, 98 play rec, 85 pursuit, 90 man, 92 zone, and 89 hit power. In my opinion, built more like a cornerback. If you really wanted to, guys, he'd be a really good box safety with that zone man hit. You could literally, you could man him. The beauty of him is his man coverage. He's pretty much the jack of all trades. You can put him on a tight end. Put him on a wide receiver, put him on a running back. He will be able to lock him up. He can play the zone. If you could put him in the box, guys, he'd be, he'd be insane in the box. Just with that hit, zone, man, and speed combo. But outside the box, at like an actual safety spot, might be too slow. Might not have the greatest hit power. Zone's good, but I don't think it's insane. Next up, we got 96 overall, Gerald McCoy. Now, guys, these are the cards that will be used in the sets for the Masters. Now, 71 speed, 85 excel. Not too athletic, but that's expected. 93 strength is decent. 96 tackle is amazing. 95 play rec is amazing. 91 block shed's decent, 88 power moves really low, and 76 finesse move. Jeremy McCoy will not be on one of my teams, guys, because he only has, he has low, he has low pass rushing, low block shed, in my opinion, at this point, and low athleticism. Nothing about this card stands out to me, not a fan. Next, we got Brian Balaga, right tackle, was on the Packers, again, don't know where he went or if he stayed. 
91 strength, 99 awareness, 95 pass block, 95 pass block power, 93 pass block finesse. So great pass blocking right tackle. 87, 87, 83, a run blocking, kind of decent. I would, this will not be my team either. I can't, run blocking has to be at minimum like 93 at this point in the year with how much outside runs have became important in this year. Next on the list, we got Robbie Anderson, or as my friends like to call him, Robbie Deep Balls. Six foot three, honestly, very tall from compared. He, he looks small when you're like watching because he's so fast, but he's, he's just tall as hell. 96 speed, super solid. 89 jumping, decent. 95 catching, 89 catch and traffic, 97, 95 spec catch, 92 short route running, 91 medium route running, and 97 deep route running. Honestly, guys, if this guard's cheap, gonna be kind of a budget style beast. I don't think he's gonna be super cheap, but if you get him for like 180, 160, 150 in that area, even like 130. Not bad as a, just a pure speed guy that could actually route run. Not horrible, although I think there's just better options at his overall. But it all depends on his price. Now we have Melvin Gordon, who actually went to the he went to the Denver Broncos. I know that one. 93 speed can be powered up though. So powered up and chemed up, you can probably get a speed up to a 96, which is decent. Not the best, but decent. 91 excel is kind of low. 92 agility is kind of low. 95 carrying is amazing. 69 catching is decent. 91 elusiveness is decent. 82 trucking kind of low. 93 break tackle kind of low. In my opinion, it's like Saquon Barkley, one overall better, gets like 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 carry. They just really didn't make this Melvin Gordon card too great. Next for the master guys, which I'm super excited for, we got Byron Jones. Guys, this card might be the best cornerback in Madden right now. Might be one, at least one of the best. Six feet tall, so the height's perfect. 95 speed. He can be powered up, by the way. And guys, his power up is very easy to get. All you, I believe, I'm, I could be wrong. I believe all you need is basically his power up. And I believe his journey card could be entirely wrong on that. But guys, in that case, power up and come up, he will get to a 98 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, 99 jumping, 99 play rec, 96 man coverage, 99 zone, 99 pre You guys see the pattern here? Everything on this card will be above 98 overall besides his man coverage. Which isn't that bad because how often do you actually play man? I mean, when you're blitzing, of course, but that's more than enough at that speed. Guys, he's literally Deion Sanders-esque. He's not probably, he's probably not as good for turning the ball. We have to see the behind the card stats, of course. But guys, that's pretty that's pretty freaking insane. Almost 99 everything. And he's probably going to be cheap. You guys saw Clowney. These cards weren't that expensive. And if not, you can use your power pass. Although I don't think you're going to have to. Guys, this could be my third cornerback I'm looking for. Maybe him, Nitro, and Dion. That could be the it right there. That could be the duo. This card, you can't get much better than this card. Like, if they drop a champ 99... You can't get much better than all 99s. This isn't older Mads where you can get like 100 plus stats. It's just not possible. Now for the final master, guys, we got Tom Brady, 98 overall quarterback. I called him Tom Bradley in a few videos, and you guys really got confused with that, so I won't ever do that again. Tom Brady, 98 overall, 6'4". Not too excited because we all know I'm not going to be using him, but 65 speed. It's Tom Brady, so it doesn't matter. 94 throw power, honestly solid for a Tom Brady card. 99 throw short, 98 throw mid, 92 throw deep. 93 throw under pressure, 82 throw on the run, and 97 play action. So, powered up and chemmed up. You can get this card with John Madden boost and everything. Probably, you can maybe get him to 99 throw power, guys. I'm going to be honest. With the power up, it would be 95. Plus, go deep, you can probably get to 97. And with John Madden, maybe 1, maybe 98. You can probably get to 98 boost. 99 throw short, you will get a 99 throw mid. And throw deep again with powered up will be 93. Plus, John Madden, probably like a 94. Plus, go deep, you can get to like a 96. Which means he almost has all 99 throwing stats. As far as accuracy, he gets pretty close. Throwing the pressure probably like a 96, 97. Throwing the run doesn't really matter. You won't be running with him. And if you are, you got some issues. And then 97 play action. Guys, I don't really do much play actions, but I'm pretty sure Tom Brady gets some pretty crazy abilities like protected and like, uh, what's that thing? Like identifier, threat identifier. He probably has some pretty decent stuff. So as far as the pure pocket passes, Brady could be really good with abilities. And as far as the things you could do with him, protect is probably one of the more important ones. Would I pick him up? Probably not, guys, but he's still super, super solid. Now, let's head over to the Madden screen to close this video out. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up today's free agency part two preview. Super excited for what we have coming, especially that Byron Jones. I did go ahead and pick up a Byron Jones power-up during this video while I was talking because I did want to have to, want to have because, guys, that Byron Jones is looking nasty. You compare him to Deion Sanders, right? With all the boost, he's better than Deion just because of that press, like that press alone. Like, he's Byron Jones, you're going to have to press people with him, and he's just as athletic as Deion. That's the issue. Press corners are always compressed, but they can get burnt if they get past you because they're not fast enough, but they can't get back on plays. Byron's as fast as anyone on the field. Guys, super, super crazy, that Byron card. I got this card for about 8K. He is now 15000 Not a great boost in price, which I wasn't going for. I, I cared more just about kind of what I could have on my team, more so than trying to get the resale fight price. And guys, that's been it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give the video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.